Hey there, Calvary Christian Assembly. Pastor Matthew here. And today we're going to continue to look at the Lord's Prayer. For the last couple of weeks, Pastor Ryan has been looking at the Lord's Prayer in greater depth, kind of breaking it apart and teaching us how it is we can use it for a framework for our prayers. Uh, I don't know about you, but for me, I'm fairly familiar with the Lord's Prayer. In fact, from a young age, my dad would challenge us to say it or recite it as fast as we could. Us being my brothers and I, we would, I remember, we would sit in our living room and he would have a stopwatch and we would try to recite it as fast as we possibly could. Now, I think now this was probably a really good trick to get us to memorize and learn scripture. And I'm so glad that I did because this is the perfect framework. It's Jesus' framework for prayer. And so we've been taking it and looking at it little by little. And today we're going to look at verse 10. The beginning of the Lord's Prayer says this. It says, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. See, right now, I think that this verse, this portion right here, is very helpful. See, in this season of uncertainty, and I don't know if you feel that way, but I certainly feel that way, in this season of uncertainty, what this sentence reminds me of is that God knows what's going on. He's not surprised by any of this. He's not in heaven trying to figure out what to do. God knows, and it's his kingdom that's to come. It's his will that's to be done. When we are praying this prayer and we say, God, your will be done, it's us actually in this moment, maybe daily, maybe hourly, however often we're spending our time in prayer with God, it's us saying, Lord, not my will, but your will. Not my understanding, your understanding. Not what I want, what, would you, what do you want, Lord? And it helps us to be reminded. In fact, I think it's fantastic that it's the beginning of the prayer. Because sometimes when I go into prayer, I go in because I'm angry, and I go in because there's something going on, or there's something that, that I just feel like I need to share with the Lord. But if I remember this first, it actually filters out all those things that are based in selfishness, that are based in anger, that, that just are not rooted in the fruits of the Spirit, or, or what it is God would have me to do. And so when we begin our prayer saying, God, we realize we're, we're not in your kingdom yet. Your kingdom's it's here partially, it lives through us. You reign supreme in our lives, but not in this world entirely yet, God. It, in this season, when I say, Lord, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, I'm saying, God, whatever you want, I'll do. Whatever it is you're asking, use me. That's what this prayer reminds me of. And in this season of not knowing what to do or, or, or what to say or how to say it, we're just reminded, God's will be done. Or let your will be done. Use me you, in my neighborhood, with my family, in, in whatever area I have any influence. God, help me to show others who you are my life. But let your will be done. That's my challenge for you today, that you would walk today, tomorrow, be reminded that it's not our will. It's not our preferences. It's not our favorites. It's not, it's not whatever we think. It's God's will. God's in charge. And so let's let our lives model this reality. Your will be done on earth 